Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, well, you can say the next seven days, but you know, the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So this reading may or may not be for you, okay? Take it resonates and leave the rest. We got two cards that fell out. Ooh. Cain, pay attention to your health. Pay attention to your health, Aries. And broom, new home, new attitude. So I don't know if you guys are something to do with a new home. Maybe you're moving into a new home. It changes your whole outlook on life. It's probably going to affect your health. Maybe you've been in a in a living situation that isn't healthy. You know, maybe it's not healthy. I don't know. Um, but there's something that is affecting your health here. New home, new attitude. So you, know, you may be moving, um, change of residence or something like that. So let's get one of these. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Pay attention to your dreams, Aries. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your daydreams. Pay attention to your night dreams. And pay attention to your, you know, the dreams that you've always had. You know, the things that you've always wanted. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams in many ways. If you, if you happen to remember something that you dreamed about in the middle of the night, it's probably, it probably has a message for you. And when you're thinking about something during the day, if you're daydreaming about it, there's a message for you in that daydream as well. What is it that you're thinking about all the time? Pay attention to that. Ooh. This is only lust. So I don't know if you're in a situation that is just lust. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Lust is instant gratification. Doesn't have to be sexual. It can be greed, okay? It feels like you are in a situation right now that is just lust. And it doesn't have, lust is just not, it's not just sexual. It's greed, it's obsession, it's, lust is brought on by the devil, okay? It's devil energy, it's something that isn't, it's toxic. It's something that feels good for a little while, but then it's like an up and down. It's like a crash and burn type of thing, right? Anyhow, you don't know your value. So there's something that, uh, well, the card speaks for itself. You don't know your value. You know, I feel like you're ignoring something. You're ignoring something that is bringing you some sort of gratification, but it's not going to last it has no potential to last. It's not fulfilling your overall dreams because pay attention to your dreams is here. So you are involved in something right now that is just lust. It may have to do, I don't know if you're living with somebody that's just lust. It's affecting your health. Hmm. But I do, the new home, new attitude. There's obviously it's some sort of new home or something like that in the future. Peace. Peace. Mm. Peace. Harmony, balance, perfection. I don't know what that next word is. I'm not even going to try. A sense of well-being, favorable conditions, and expansion. Equipoise. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, this is about balance. It's about peace. It is about perfection. A sense of well-being. That's where you, what you need, right? You need this peace and harmony in your life. You do. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. The marrying maiden is on the bottom. 
it says a compromising situation, subordination, succumbing sedu to seduction, manipulation, low self-esteem. So we got somebody here that is has so low self-esteem. You know, when you aren't taken care of as a child, you tend to pick people that you can prove yourself to. Male or female. You are in some sort of compromising situation right now. You are succumbing to manipulation. Oh my God. That's weak. That's weak. Lust. It's all about lust. It's like you don't know your value. You don't know your value. What the hell? Come on now. You don't know your value? You want to be controlled by somebody? You're trying to prove your value to somebody? You're trying to prove it? You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to prove your value to anybody. It's reversed. Temperance reversed. Is, is temperance reversed? Something is off. Some, this is engaging in negative patterns, okay? There's a need to re-examine. This is not healthy. This is inappropriate behavior. Somebody is acting inappropriately. They're acting inappropriately. There's, there's profound self-healing that is needed. This is some sort of competition, frustrations, uh, on an on a emotional roller coaster. There's a lot of inconsistency here, ups and downs, like I said. Something is going on. It is extremely unhealthy going over there's un you are in an unhealthy situation that is really affecting your health pay attention to your health and then temperance reverse is very unhealthy engaging in negative patterns need to manage you need to reevaluate you need balance in your life things are really unbalanced you're in an unbalanced situation mm. And that's why peace is here, because balance be, is needed. Balance and harmony is needed, okay? You need to expand yourself, but temperance reverse is all over the place. It is. It's a mess. It's a very, very messy situation. This is like emotionally unstable. In a situation that is just lust. But there's a new home, something new home that can change your attitude. Everything changes. Temperance is about changing, but it's reversed. So there's, there's something going on here. It's like you're engaging in negative patterns. You're allowing yourself to be manipulated because you don't know your value. Ooh, boy. And it's affecting your health. Interesting. Okay, so what else do we have for Aries? It's time. Favorable conditions. And temperance upright is a card of timing. But I feel like you've been reluctant, going overboard, maybe even self-medicating. Not knowing your value, allowing somebody to abuse you in some way. It is time for expansion. Because of that peace card has expansion in it. It's time to expand yourself. Favorable conditions means it's a good time to reevaluate, reevaluate your behaviors. You know, maybe maybe if you want your dreams to come true, you need to uh, be willing to accept change. Because temperance is accepting. It's about acceptance and going with the flow and allowing. So I feel like you have to be willing to change if you want something better. Because temperance in the upright is about exchanging something lesser for something better. Right now you're holding on to the lesser because temperance is reversed. When you can have something better. King of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. That is unstable, insecure financial problems maybe just holding on for the financial security of whatever it is that you're holding on to very stubborn queen
Queen of Pentacles reversed. Well, ain't that just pretty? Okay, Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's very unstable. I don't know if you're dealing with a woman that is money hungry or doesn't give. Very selfish. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I know who she is, unfortunately. Um, she doesn't give. She's not generous, okay? She's greedy. She's selfish. She's self-absorbed. She's jealous. She's possessive. Um, she only focuses on her money. She's very money hungry. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who doesn't give. All they care, you're dealing with somebody right now, and that could be you. This is somebody that is insecure, doesn't know their value. Again, Queen of Coins in reverse, male or female, is somebody that doesn't know their value, that is very, uh, Greedy. There's somebody here that is greedy or something like that. Queen of Coins Reverse is a selfish person. Queen of Pentacles in, re in the upright is not, but the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse is somebody that is money hungry, money mad. You know, they don't give. They don't give without expecting a lot in return. This is somebody that will hound you for money. They will hound you constantly and they're selfish they want to keep it all for themselves you may also be losing an opportunity you may be missing an opportunity with somebody maybe you're missing an opportunity with the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles in reverse can be a missed opportunity can be a lost opportunity a golden opportunity maybe a golden opportunity is slipping away maybe it's slipping away because of stubbornness we did have the King of Pentacles in reversed a minute ago. That's a very stubborn energy. You know, there's a lack of communication, a lack of openness. It takes two, takes two. Reciprocation is needed. You know, if you don't reciprocate, then you lose. You could be experiencing a financial loss right now. Maybe there's a, a woman here that is very, very selfish. Could be a male, male or female. We have the king and queen of pentacles. We have, we have a couple that are not seeing eye to eye. These are two people that don't see eye to eye. They're probably not a very good match. They're fighting over money. Neither one of them want to pay. And neither one of them want to give up. Or There's money problems. There's definitely some money issues here. You're dealing with somebody that is probably overly conservative, you know, they're very selfish. They don't want to pay or they want all the money for themselves. Knight of Cups reversed on their side. The world. These cards are so thick. Chariot. Two of Coins making a decision. Ace of coins on your side in the upright. You do have a golden opportunity here for long-term stability. This could be your new home. This is a gift. It's something that you asked for. It's something that you manifested. So you have a golden opportunity to go through a new doorway. It's a new investment. Two of pentacles. Hold on. That is making a choice. Going back and forth with this choice. Ace of swords on your side. Both up. All your side is upright. Over on whoever you're dealing with, you have the Knight of Cups reversed, the World card, and the Chariot. Somebody's, uh, it's the end of a cycle. You're dealing with somebody that is emotionally closed off. Okay? They may say the words, I love you, but words are definitely not actions. Knight of Cups is in reverse is somebody that sweeps you off your feet with their charm and drops you like a hot potato. Can't wait to get rid of you. Knight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that is charming for a little while, but the charm wears off. It's like, uh, they look really good. It's like uh, charming in Shrek. Okay, it's somebody who, you know, they, they, they look really good, you know, but they aren't all it's cracked up to be. So whoever you're dealing with may be very charming. You know, they may be able to speak those words of love, but they don't, they don't add up. They don't follow through. Um, whoever you're dealing with um, is completing a cycle in their life. They may be ready. It feels like they're ready for a new life. They're ready to step into their new life. They're ready to go. They're ready because we got the world and the chariot. They're ready for their new life. They're ready to go. I'm not sure. I think this is an unrequited love situation. Knight of Cups reverse. I mean, that's an unrequited love situation. It is. I. Oh, you have the Queen of Swords on the bottom. 
You could be dealing with somebody that is delivering you some truth. This is the truth speaker. You may be dealing with a woman that has wrecked some sort of havoc on your life. This is somebody that is very authentic, very to the point, very intelligent. This is a professional speaker or somebody that is very, very professional in some sort of trade. Um, taking taking uh, action of some sort. I feel like we have a female here that is speaking some sort of truth. She has the power. She That's the sort of power. She has the truth. She's speaking the truth. She's giving you this opportunity. She's very intelligent. She's in a position of authority, this Queen of Swords. Um, <laughs> just saying, see your red fingernails? Um, can be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody that is very honest, very truthful. She speaks the truth. She, it's, not a, it's, it's somebody that's not you know, she's unforgiving. You know, it's not, it's not about, uh, she's not trying to hurt people. She just tells it the way it is. Okay. Um, somebody's giving you some information. I also feel like you're going to be learning something. Somebody's going to be, uh, I feel like there's, you're going to be learning some sort of truth or, or going through an awakening or maybe somebody has assisted you with some sort of awakening. If this is like a wake up call, the ace of swords is on your side and the queen of swords, the queen of swords delivers the truth. She delivers an, an awakening. Okay. She gives you a, she gives you the truth. She gives you a new perspective. So I'm wondering if somebody is giving you a new perspective, they're, they're causing you to wake up and see the, see the truth of some sort. Um, it's the truth because the queen of swords is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. There could be some upcoming legal issues as well. Okay. You may be seeing some upcoming legal issues. You may be getting some information from somebody that is, um, uh, in a professional position that has been investigating, that is giving you some information. Anyhow, I do believe that you are going to be receiving something because of that ace of swords that is very, uh, it's the truth. It's the, and, and it's the power because that's, the, and it's a new beginning. I mean, you have an opportunity here, a golden opportunity based on the truth. You need to be honest with yourself. You really, really do. You have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and then the Two of Pentacles. You've got to make a choice. I feel like you're trying to find balance in your life, right? It's like you're trying to find balance. There's a lot of ups and downs right now. But the Two of Pentacles is also about a profit and a loss. You can't have both. I feel like you're torn in two different directions. I feel like you have one person here. There's a money-hungry, grabbing bitch. You know, she all she cares about is money. She or he, she does. You know, this is somebody that is very shallow, very self-centered. It doesn't give, doesn't give. All, all, she, all this person cares about is the money in the bank account. You know, um, probably pretty boring too. You could be dealing with somebody that is an old fuddy-duddy that is very, very boring. Isn't very adventurous. Doesn't want to have any fun. This person is lazy. You know, they may you know, not want to do anything. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that wants all the money, but they don't want to give you anything. You know, um, they may be even wanting your money. Um, this person, uh, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very shallow. They're, they're unrealistic as well. They may lack common sense. I mean, you may be dealing with somebody that lacks common sense, you know, Selfish, very, 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 I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very selfish. This is somebody that is very stubborn. It could be even somebody that is, is very, uh, I feel like it's like too frivolous, too frivolous. Fights over money. Anyhow, um, your person, whoever this person is, is going they're ready they're ready to go in a new direction they're not feeling the love they're 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 not this is somebody that is closed off knight of cups reverse there's somebody that is closed off emotionally it's almost and i'm not sure if they're waiting for you to leave the chariot is about leaving going somewhere it feels like they've been waiting for this cycle to end they've been waiting but this person is so lazy and they're holding on for their financial reasons that they're, they're not going to do anything. They're just waiting. They're waiting for you to leave. 
Somebody's waiting for you to leave. They're waiting for this to end. The world and the chariot, this is an ending, okay? They're waiting. They want to move. They want to move on. They want to move on. I feel like uh, you're dealing with somebody that is... I don't know, if Knight of Cups reverse, you're dealing with somebody that is a liar. They lie. They use their emotions. This is emotional manipulation. They, they may cry a lot or they throw hissy fits or something like that. I feel like there's also some sort of love rival here or something like that. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's hiding something. There's also... Um, emotions all over the place you're dealing with somebody whose emotions are or they withhold their emotions you know or they they sugarcoat situations they live in fantasy that's the best word for it they're in fantasy they're able to just gloss over the truth you know because because that's the easiest thing this is somebody that is extremely lazy they're lazy I feel like you are going through some sort of awakening. I feel like you're getting some sort of, you have an opportunity here. It's a golden op opportunity to go through a new door. You have a, definitely have a new beginning with these two aces. You have to make a choice. You can't have both. You can't, you can't have both. Okay, I think that you're trying to find, you're trying to find balance. I think you're struggling with some sort of financial burdens right now. I feel like you're juggling money with somebody and, and it's because you're dealing with a partner because twos are about partners and I can see that with the Queen of Pentacles, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really want to give. This person wants to hoard. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's hoarding the money. Totally the opposite of the Queen of Pentacles and the upright. The Queen of Pentacles and the upright is very giving, very generous. Ace of coins, opportunity, new investment. I do believe that you are ready. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you are ready for abundance, right? And you may get some sort of idea. You may get some sort of an epiphany that can lead you down the road, down through a new doorway to abundance. But, but underneath that Ace of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles. You have to be able to make changes. You have to be able to adapt. You have to be flexible. Okay, you may ha you may need to transfer some things. Okay, I feel like we have a profit and a loss here. This is like an incoming and an outgoing, or an outgoing and an incoming, or whatever. It's a profit and a loss. It is. This is also a realignment and a change. This is a geometric power higher than yourself that is trying to realign you. You know, but you you're gonna have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Okay, you have to, and you, and honest being honest with yourself is part of this. I feel like we definitely have somebody here and it's, it's, I feel like you are dealing with somebody that lacks common sense, but I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like you may have lacked some common sense. You, I feel like you've been played. I do. We, I, we have a player here. I feel like you've been played by somebody that uses emotions, uses their words of love. I feel like you're, you're dealing, I don't even know if you're dealing with somebody that can't handle stress and the, and and the minute you question them in any way, they throw fit. They throw a little hissy fit, you know, or they, they turn it around on you. You may even be dealing with a narcissist. You know, you may be dealing with a narcissist. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is... Um, They're ready to move on. They are. They are. They, it feels like... I feel like there's a lack of love here. I feel like there's a lack of love here. I feel like this is a one-sided situation. Oh my goodness gracious. They're going somewhere. I think whoever you're, you're dealing with is ready. They're either ready for you to move or they're ready to move. This is definitely the end of a cycle. It's the completion of a cycle. It is. That is the world card. This is the end. It's the end of this phase. Whoever you are dealing with is ready for it to be over. They are ready to move on. This is go. They're ready. They're ready to go. They are. They're ready to go. They want. They want to go. They want to go wherever it is that they want to go. There's definitely traveling, moving, going to a new destination. So...
to them it's already over whoever you're dealing with it's already over the world cards already they, the way that they feel it's already over they've already moved on in their mind they've already moved on they've already withdrawn emotionally whoever you're dealing with it looks like it's a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio Somebody that you're dealing with has already moved on emotionally. They've in their in their mind, in their heart, they've already moved on. They're just they're ready. They're ready for you to wake up. They're ready for you to, to go. They're ready for you to take your new opportunity. They are. Mm -hmm. Case of Swords, you have the power. You are gonna get some sort of epiphany. Maybe you're going to go through some sort of awakening. Some sort of truth is coming out. This is, a, this is a new idea. Taking a new approach. You have a golden opportunity. This is a gift. It's something that you asked for. This is an offer. This is an invite. Or it's, some, it's a new project. It's something, a new home. It's something you can touch. Something you can take to the bank. Something that can last. Something that is permanent. I feel like you are going to be going through a new doorway. But it's not going to be easy because I think it's hard for you to let go. Because it's a big choice. That two of pentacles is a big choice. But you caught, and it comes with being honest with yourself. And that is the sword that cuts. That sword severs ties. So I'm wondering if you're severing ties with somebody. Once you, once you make your choice and go through this new doorway, you can't go back. Five of Cups reversed. You do have a new prospect here. This is focusing on the future now. It is. Beginning to realize. Beginning to realize the truth. That's what this is. This is moving on. Moving on. I feel like you've been in some sort of deep depression with a person, you know, holding on for who knows. There's been some sort of prolonged grief, but it's time to focus on the future. You've got to be practical. You've got to be realistic. I do believe that coming out of denial is, is prominent here. This is coming out of denial, beginning to see the truth again. So this is opening up to the truth, seeing the truth. Some sort of truth is definitely being revealed with that Ace of Swords. That is the raw truth. And the Queen of Swords delivers the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's not about your feelings. It's about the truth. Okay, with the Queen of Swords. If you're dealing with a water sign, the water sign will mask the truth with emotions, with all these words of love. But the, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. Those are just words, okay? The, there's no follow through with that. This is somebody that's unreliable, okay? This is, like I said, charming, like in Shrek. I mean, it looks good, but it's really a nightmare. I feel like there could be a broken engagement or a withdrawn invitation or somebody is moving. They're moving out of a home, um, obviously, with a new home, new attitude. Um, you may be dealing with a commitment phobic as well. Maybe you're the commitment phobic. phobic. Um, this is definitely a unrequited love situation with the Knight of Cups. Whoever you are dealing with, it's over. It's completely over. It is. With the world card underneath it, it's done. It's complete. This person is not emotionally in it. Their heart is not in it. We may even have a recanted proposal here. You know, we could have a separation with the Knight of Cups reverse. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's over. Something is being exposed with the Two of Swords reversed. This is something that is being exposed. There's, maybe there's lies that are being exposed because truth is being revealed with that Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So something is, is being exposed. It's going to be made very, very clear. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this week you're going to be, it feels like there's a major ending here. This is the end with the world card. It's a major ending of a cycle. Somebody is going somewhere. They're moving. They're moving somewhere. And I feel like there's no going back. Good luck.